So today is April the 8th, 2021, and I'm sitting in um, my car. It's a Toyota Corolla uh, 2020 model XL hatchback hybrid. And I'm sitting here really just to show you what the AA wireless dongle is like connecting to Android Auto. Uh, this is a startup on Indiegogo that I backed in September 2020, and they're now shipping. So I've had this for a couple of weeks. It's been great. Uh, I had some troubleshooting to do at the very beginning, which I'll mention, uh, but otherwise it does exactly what I was hoping it would do. Basically, this device connects via cable to the car that enables the phone, and in my case, this Samsung Galaxy S25 G, to connect to Android Auto via this wirelessly. And why is that such a big deal? The sheer convenience of it, no cables. And uh, it lets me also do other things with Android Auto that I couldn't do before without worrying about cables. So let's get started. Uh, as it's a hybrid, I shall power it up with this button. And starting, we've got the ready sign. We'll see this flashing and um, it'll go blue flashing in a second and then we'll have the connection to Android Auto. That's what should happen and that's exactly what did happen. So this phone I can now put here which is the place for, for the phone to go. That's where this dongle could go but the phone goes there. So I'm now with this, if I go to the menu button, I see now Android Auto is a choice enabled. This is the same behavior it did with the wired connection. Uh, it doesn't um, go straight into Android Auto, you've got to turn it on. And that I suspect is the same in many other vehicles too. It depends on the head unit as well, I think. So anyway, you press that and that gives me defaults into the maps, but I can press that and I've got the home screen. And uh, looks good. Uh, this is the latest version, lets you change uh, wallpaper background, which I've done to complement the main dash screen. Looks quite nice, I think. So in addition to navigation, uh, I can also use all the apps that I can use in Android Auto that I was able to use with the wired connection. So for me, the important things are Amazon Music is the one I is the music app I use more than any other. I've got my, my own playlists, but I like a lot of their playlists. So uh, and it just plays as it did before. Pocket Cast I use for podcasts. There's also Google Podcasts. I sometimes use that one as well. Uh, I can look at news and do stuff like that. I tend not to. This is more of a of a, an audio experience than tapping on the screen. I mean, hey, you're driving, you don't want to be doing that anyway. Uh, but I can do things as well, like uh, receive a reply and send even WhatsApp messages and, and SMS text messages by voice command only. So the usual uh, invocation for the Google Assistant, and then you, you, you tell it what you want it to do, it works faultlessly, no issues whatsoever. The same thing too with uh, the, the, uh, the audio controls on the car steering wheel. I see some people commenting uh, on the Indiegogo page that, that, that this is, doesn't work, it's disabled. That's probably a, a configuration issue. No doubt the developer will address things like that in a forthcoming over the air update. So um, it works for me and uh, many others I see commenting too, which is the, the desired uh, experience outcome you want. If you think about it, a bit like Windows, I suppose, you've got something that is going to work on uh, devices of so many different types and configurations. It would be amazing if some of them didn't present a problem of one kind or another. So uh, again, this is part of the of the joy, I suppose, of participating in a startup like this as a backer. Uh, just remembering that you're backing the development of a product. This is not the same as going into a store and buying a finished product. So backing it means that uh, with a bit of luck, you'll actually get a product at the end of it, but it might need some tuning where you can help. And that's what's happened uh, here. I mentioned uh, some uh, configuration stuff. Uh, I had to go through some troubleshooting. That was all to do with the Bluetooth connection on this particular phone, the Galaxy uh, S25 G. Uh, uh, nothing to do with the dongle. Uh, so what what that involved was unpairing everything, and I had a lot of stuff paired. Just 
zapping it all. The only device that Bluetooth could discover was the AA wireless dongle. I also uh, reset all network connections on the phone, and I've not done that for a long time. So I cleared out stuff that I'd used over a year ago, places I've been to, Wi-Fi networks I paired with, all that, all gone. And that fixed the problem without any doubt, because it worked from that point onwards. Before that, I was getting the device constantly rebooting, and the developer had some tips on how to solve that. That wasn't it. Uh, that seemed to fix it, what I did with resetting and unpairing everything. So this device is really rather neat, and I think this is definitely something worth having, uh, particularly like me, if you're like me, uh, where you're... Uh, your your navigation as well as the devices the, the 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 apps you like to use in your car are things you do use a lot that required previously a wired connection then having it like this is great so uh, i think this is definitely worth investing in so i'm glad i did um so that's really it uh, i'll have a review on my blog a more detailed review at www.nevillehobson.com and this video, like others, you can find on my YouTube channel. For information about um, the AA Wireless dongle, uh, go to Indiegogo.com and search for AA Wireless or just do it on Google, AA Wireless. Search for that.